Today we're concentrating on safety. Very, very important is the safety bib. As you can see, protects a lot of your gullet and is, has been known to be used in Taiwanese restaurants. The neck brace. Here we have the Liet neck brace. The Liet neck brace was basically one of the first products um, supporting and saving the neck besides your average uh, donut. The donut was a piece of foam that went around the neck and this is what the motocross boys used. Um, but it wasn't really effective. If you fell and your neck went like this, it was supposed to stop hyperextension this way, that way, left or laterally or whichever one you want to talk about. But it didn't really solve the problem of neck injury. Liet came up with this. Dr. Liet came up with the neck brace. He was the first one to discover it. Of course, on the market, there are many, many more today. Um, as you can see, resembling his name. What basically happened is um, one of his friends in Cape Town actually died, broke his neck in a race. And he thought, no, I can come up with a product that will at least give the person a better chance. So phenomenal product. Uh, it's absolutely necessary if you can wear it. But there are some pitfalls. Certain people have got short necks, as myself. We are called stumpies, and our necks are very short. No, don't laugh. Just because you've got a long neck, then you have to wear this. I don't have to wear it because my helmet basically goes like this on my shoulder. If my chest plate is here, my helmet will do that and touch it. Whereas a guy with a tall neck will probably need one of these because he'll need the helmet to just sit on the neck brace like if he falls and gets hit quickly. It stops hyperextension and stops your neck going and snapping. So, a very good product, but once again, only for someone who can really wear it with comfort. Personally, I found, uh, although it does have adjustments, I must stipulate, it does have adjustments over here to adjust for different um, lengths so that it can be fitted into a, um, a chest protector and be comfortable. Not always comfortable in very technical terrain, I must be honest. But, you know, if it's, if it's between your neck um, and it's between safety, wear it. It is a good product. Um, it's a phenomenally made product, carbon fiber, integrated in plastic mold. And you can see it's been thought out well with great padding to offer comfort. Once again, that is something that um, is a personal choice. If you can ride with it or not. Um, if you can, great, bonus. If I could, I would use one of these all the time. As I said, there are various makes. This is the Liet. It clicks in like this. Obviously, you first put the back one on. Then the front one clips via lever. And what they normally do have is a strap from the back to the front. Obviously to wrap around your chest so that it actually pulls this down below the chest protector. And then therefore not being obtrusive or obstructive in your riding. Very, very good product. Um, you will notice in the Supercross, even in the motocross, but specifically in the Supercross, uh, everybody and their dog is wearing one of these at the moment. Um, because of the unprecedented safety levels it gives the rider in case of a hard impact against the neck. So once again, some of you that is for the tall neck or for someone who can wear it comfortably, it's a must have. It's almost as good as the boots or your helmet. It's a product that is absolutely necessary. But some of us can't wear them. So make sure you're comfortable with it. Rather ride comfortably, rather be able to turn your neck and, uh, and not get motion sickness. Certain people do get motion sickness because obviously if your head is turning this way and that way following the bike and it's stopped by the, the product like this, uh, then your equilibrium will go a little bit off and you do tend to get a little bit of motion sickness and vomit. So make sure that it fits right. If it does and if it can be worn, great product, um, something that's indispensable and I would certainly, certainly recommend it to anybody who does motocross, off-road, enduro any form of motorsport. That is it. That's the product for the day.